Time now to check the starting lineup for tonight's basketball game. First for the visiting Salukis, now ranked number 15 in the country in the ESPN coaches poll. They will go with the starting lineup that has made them famous throughout the year. It'll be Jamal Tatum, Tony Young, and Brian Mullins at the guard spots with Randall Falker and Matt Shaw underneath. And Tatum has been a huge guy the last several ball games. And he's been doing it hurt as well. He had that deep thigh bruise. He came back and played against Creighton, put 18 strong points up against them. I expect nothing less than him from here for this game, too. And now for the Bears, they've used the same starting lineup all year long. Blake Ahern and Spencer Laurie at the guards. Tyler Chaney, Nathan Ballou at the forwards. Drew Richards, the center. Ahern is their all-two go-to guy. When you say the name Missouri State, you think Blake Ahern right now, because he is their sharpshooter, seventh all-time career point scored here. I mean, you, whenever you think Missouri State, you think Blake Ahern. All right, we'll be back with the ball game and the tip-off right after this. We're about ready for tip-off. We'd like to thank Mediacom for helping us bring you this special game against Missouri State tonight. A special thanks to Corey Riggs and the rest of the crew at Mediacom Cable to make tonight's arrangement possible to bring you the game on WSIU-TV. Drew Richards and Randall Falker ready to tip it up, and the tip is controlled by the Salukis. Southern in the maroon with the white trim. Missouri State in the white with the maroon trim. Nathan Ballou. To Falker, he travels with a basketball. And you can see Missouri uh, SIU coming right off the bat against Missouri State, trying to count, take advantage of that matchup against Drew Richards right there with Nathan Ballou not in the lineup. Nathan Ballou he is zero. In the his left hand is taped heavily. He sprained his wrist at the end of the Northern Iowa game a few nights ago. Not much, not sure how much he'll be able to contribute. So we'll just have to see. Ahern, no. Ahern again, way off, air ball by Blake Ahern. So he's 0 for 2, and that's very uncharacteristic for number 15 to throw up an air ball. On the season, he is 88 for 94 from the free throw line, 74 for 149. He's a 50% three-point shooter, not any longer, though. And they actually got Nate Ballou out on Matt Shaw and Drew Richards against Randall Falker. They switched up from last year when Falker is going up against Ballou. Another turnover for the Salukis. And another miss for the Bears, 0 for 3. Salukis have two trips and two turnovers. Tatum, a jumper, is no good. Falker there, but Richards gets it over the back. So at least the Salukis got a shot. Spencer Laurie. Kicks it out to Ahern. Southern in their man. And you saw Ballou there hesitate for that three-point shot. You have to think that maybe it had something to do with that bad hand. He was wide open. He had a chance to take that good shot. There. Ballou has shot 18 threes on the season, so he's not going to pull the trigger a lot, but he was wide open on that particular play. And a turnover for Missouri State. Just underway here at the Hammond Student Center. Down to Randall Falker working on Drew Richards. Up and under for two. Randall had a monster game against the Bears in Carbondale. A double-double, over 20 points and 13 rebounds. Blue, no good. Rebound to Matt Shaw. So the Bears have started ice cold. And when the Salukis aren't turning it over, they're getting good, good shots. Falker all alone misses. Can't get his rebound, though. He should have taken his time. He could have jammed that one. He should have just stopped and gathered himself to put it in. But right now, SIU totally taking advantage of that matchup. Richards cannot guard Falker on his own. They're going to probably need to try and double team him right now. I think the Bears will play some zone. There's Ballou with it. He has no luck with that left hand. Spencer Laurie out with Tatum. Kick it to Ahern. Chaney. Shot is up, blocked. Partially blocked. Nice the defensive set right there by the Salukis. They brought him down at five seconds on the shot clock. Shaw won't go down, but he draws the foul on Blue. And you can see early Southern attacking the rim right away. 
getting results. First foul on Nathan Blue, first team foul of the ball game on either team. Shaw's going to go to the line and shoot a pair. Matt, one of the best free throw shooters on the Salukis. Knocks down number one. Mitchell's in for Blue. Have to think with Blue getting taken out this early that he's feeling the effects of that sore hand. Have to put somebody fresh in there that can play with both. Matt was one for two. Saluki's lead at three to nothing. Key to stopping Missouri State is stopping transition threes. Cheney with it. To Richards, up top. Spencer Laurie. Backdoor pass, block. And out of bounds to the Salukis. And we've seen Tony Young do that several times before. He's showing how good of a defensive player he is. Kyle Rausch into the game for Drew Richards. Rausch, a freshman. He's going to try to tangle with Randall Falker. And I think that's a, uh, that's a situation that Chris Lowry and Randall Falker are kind of licking their chops on right now. Mullins to Falker, gets the foul, and Randall will go to the free throw line, and Southern is just attacking the rim. Well, they have a freshman in there now in Roush, so you got to think he's pretty green here. And they're just going to do everything they can to get them in foul trouble if they know they're thin down there down low. Foul was called on Roush, so Falker now will shoot a pair. Randall hits. And we've seen the same thing done to Southern as well. If you remember the Evansville game, they attacked the rim, got the Salukis in foul trouble. Looks like it's SIU's modem today to just try and attack the rim and get their big men in foul trouble. Randall's a 56% shooter. It's four to nothing Salukis. Short. So Southern's now two for four from the line. Wesley Clemens is in the game for Southern. Dale Lamberth is in for Missouri State. And he threw it away again. Another turnover for Missouri State. So the Bears give it right back to the Salukis. You mentioned Dale Lambert coming into the game from Missouri State. Saluki fans know that name well from last year when they played here. He went on a tear in the first half at about 12, 15 points. Shaw beats Mitchell. Can't score, gets his own rebound. Still can't score. Falker has it, and Randall scores. Falker has five. The Salukis are hammering on the boards, and they lead it by a score of six to nothing just ahead of immediate timeout. Ahern draws the foul from Shaw. And we've come to our first media timeout, 15.37 left to go in the first half. It's all Salukis early on, six to nothing. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Springfield. It's the Salukis early on, leading it by a score of six to nothing. Hey, WSIU is your home for Saluki basketball. Show your support by calling right now with a pledge, 1-800-745-9748. Our man on the sidelines this evening is Chris Hagstrom. Chris. Thank you very much, Mike. I had a chance to talk to Coach Jack Owens earlier today. He told me he knows what he's ready for with Missouri State. They're going to try to score in transition defense. As you can tell by the scoreboard, they haven't been able to do that so far. So Southern doing a great job attacking the boards and attacking on their defense. Mike, back to you. Thank you, Chris. Stopping transition threes is always huge because that's what gets Missouri State's crowd into a game and it gets Ahern going. And thus far, Blake Ahern's going to go to free throw line to try to put Missouri State on the board. Yeah, we talked about how he's about an 85, 90% lifetime career free throw shooter. But he's got 74% se <laughs> uh, three-point field goals made on the year, too. And that is something that they've been missing so far in this game, along with Lambert and all those other players. They've been playing tight defense. Blake Ahern has hit 88 of 94 free throws. There's a shot at Barry Hinson. He's in his eighth year here at Missouri State University, an overall record of 149 and 97. There's Mr. Ahern. He was going to leave college as the number one free throw percentage leader of all time. 
He's shooting him at a 94% clip this year. He's got both. Saluki's lead at six to two. Randall couldn't handle the pass from Jamal. And just those two free throws got this crowd a little bit into the game. And you saw the turnover here. You don't want, if you're Southern, you don't want to let this crowd back into the game. You saw what it happened last year to him when the crowd was into the game. So they just got to keep on trying to play that tight defense that they've been playing. Jamal Tatum takes a seat next to Jack Owens. Brian Mullins in, into the game and will guard Mr. Cheney. Tyler Cheney, one of the three seniors on this team. It's Ahern, Ballou, and Cheney. The ABCs are the seniors. Steven Mitchell kicks it to Lambert for three. And that's exactly what we were talking about just a minute ago, Mike. And Lambert was hitting a lot of threes last year here at the Hammond Center. Just hit another big one. Kick it down to Randall. Clemens in the corner. Shot clock at 10. Wesley bounce pass to Shaw. No good. Matt chose not to go off the glass and tried to lay it up over the rim. And Missouri State playing physical defense too, putting bodies on SIU all the way down on the defensive side of the ball. Richards on Falker. Jump hook, no. Rebound to Randall. Cheney with a steal and a foul on Randall. And you can just see already how this crowd is getting these players pumped up and back into this game before they look lifeless. Now they look like they're the ones that have everything going for them. Very lackadaisical play by Randall. Tried to hand it off to Brian. Never looked to see if Cheney was there. And now Randall's going to sit out with one foul. Ahern leaves the game as well. Shane Laurie comes into the game. So Shane and Spencer Laurie. Both in the game now for Missouri State. I'll tell you what, this place didn't look like it was going to be packed before about five minutes before the game. It looks pretty full right now. Cheney to Lamberth in the corner. It was six to nothing at one time. Now it's six five. Lori, nowhere to go. Up top, Lambert. Stephen Mitchell, Cheney with it. Shot clock at five. Knocked away. Toss up. Air ball. Turnover. Shot clock violation. Real good defense by the Salukis. And that's the second time so far this game that they've really got them to take the clock down all the way down to the clock there. This time they get the shot clock violation. So the Salukis started with six straight points. The Bears have come back with five. Southern's been to the rim all night long, but hasn't converted very well. Shaw for three. No good. But you can see, though, them attacking the rim really opened up that three-point shot because they all collapsed inside. Cheney lobs it down to Devin Mitchell. Jumper over Shaw. No good. Tony Boyle grabs the rebound. Good work by Tony. Got position on Drew Richards. Mullins inside. Shaw blocked by Drew Richards. Blocked the dunk. And Shaw will go to the free throw line. And Mullins did one of those cardinal sins. You're not supposed to pass once you jump. He did that, got away with it that time. Shaw going to go to the free throw line. He's not a bad free throw shooter himself. Richards first foul. Matt was one for two at the free throw line. His first try tonight. He'll get two more here. Tyrone Green will check in for the Saluki's next opportunity. Matt, the junior out of Centralia, Illinois. Shot is good. Matt's got three. Kyle Rausch back into the game. Tony Young sits down for the Salukis as Tyrone Green came in. Now Jamal Foster is going to check into the lineup if Matt makes this. And he does. So Shaw's got three. The lead is three at eight to five. So it's Foster, Green, Boyle, Mullins, and Clemens on the floor for the Salukis. 
And one, thi one th thing when you talk to Saluki coaches and they talk about Tyrone Green, they talk about how he plays bigger than his size of 6'3". Sometimes they could put him up in that four spot. He's Garden Chaney. That's Lambert with Clemens on him. Chaney leans in, shot no good. Lambert traveled, no call. Fade away, good. It's part of the home court advantage. Sometimes things might not get called that usually do, and Lambert decides to take advantage of it. He came down with a rebound and took three steps. Clemens with it to Tony Boyle. Back to Mullen, shot clock at 10. Wesley fouled by Devin Mitchell. And it appeared that Missouri State was running some kind of zone and switching up with a little bit of man in between there, like one guy on a man and the rest of the zone. And right now it seemed to be working. It got them going. Mitchell fouled him on the way to the hoop, and we've come to our second media timeout. It's 8-7 Salukis. We'll be back after these messages. We were talking about it during the break. We've yet to call Jamal Tatum's name in this ball game with Southern leading 8-7. to seven. And you would think that he needs to be a big part of this win here, but right now with what Southern's doing, they're attacking the rim with their two big men who at the time when they left the break are out and it looks like they're going to be out coming into this. They have all eight points. Matt Shaw and Falker do. Falker's got five. Shaw has three. Jamal Tatum just, packed, just checked back into the game to replace Wesley Clemens, so he'll join Brian Mullins and Tyrone Green in the backcourt. Southern inbound it. Green with it. Tyreen thought about slashing to the hoop. There was a bit of a lane, but decided not to. Foul on Jamal Foster. And one thing that comes to mind when I think of this Missouri State team is athleticism. They're, I think, probably the most athletic team, if not one of the best, in the Valley. They There's have a, a whole bunch of athletes that could just play all kinds of sorts of positions. We saw a shot of Chris Lowry. And there's a foul against Ballou. So it looks like they're starting to call some uh, tic-tac fouls here. And that's two on Ballou. He's going to be done for the half, most likely. That's the fifth team foul on Missouri State. And it looks like Falker and Falker Shaw. Falker and both. Shaw back in, so everybody but Tony Young from the starting lineup is on the floor. Southern looking to make a push now with Ballou on the bench again. And Missouri State has gone really small in this game. Lambert is trying to guard Randall Falker, and Devin Mitchell is going to guard Matt Shaw. Tatum pull up three, nothing but the bottom of the net. Jamal Tatum with three, and the Saluki's lead is back to four. It's 11 7. Spencer Laurie, no, rebound to Matt Shaw. Falker with it. Wide open, Tatum, baseline, too strong. Shaw over the back. Two on Matt Shaw. And Tony Boyle's gonna come in for Matt Shaw now. That was referee Bruce Hicks with the call, and they're calling it tight now on the big guys. Looked like they were letting them play early a little bit, letting the bump, let them bump chest a little bit, and now they're gonna start tightening things down. There has not been one foul by a guard in this game. It's all on the big men so far. That's Mitchell with it to the wing and Blake Ahern. He has scored, he's got two points on the free throws. That's Shane Laurie, number 12. Kicking it to Spencer. Eight on the shot clock. Lambert, top of the key, three. I'll tell you what, he might be a bench player, but he's a darn good bench player. Eight points. Falker for two, great pass. Randall's got seven. Nice transition right there by the Salukis. Tony Young at the scorer's table right now. Lori kicks it back to Lambert. Mitchell for two, no good. Rebound to Tyrone Green. Salukis lead it by three. Lob down to Randall. 
Jump hook is good. Randall's got nine. There's no answer for Randall inside. And he hesitated a little bit, tried to see if somebody was going to double team, but he took it strong to the hoop and got it to go. Foul on the baseline on Tyrone Green. His first. Fifth team foul on the Salukis. Fuermeyer is into the game for Missouri State. Tony Young is in for the Salukis. Richards back in for Missouri State. Worth sits down. Thrown away, and the Salukis will get it back. As it goes off of Ahern out of bounds. And it looked like Tony got away maybe with a little bit of a shove, but they didn't call it, so it's not a foul. See if the Salukis can get the second foul on Richards now. Stolen by Devin Mitchell. Fuermeyer to Ahern for three. No, Ahern misses again. Tatum, good on the drive by Jamal Tatum. I tell you what, he's a gamer, isn't he? He's still hurt, but he's out there playing hard. Oh, Tony Boyle tries to go around Drew Richards. Gets called for the personal foul. That's the second foul on Tony Boyle. Josh Bone now into the game for the Salukis for Brian Mullins. Salukis lead at 17 to 10. Sixth team foul on the Salukis. 9.02 left to go here in the first half. Southern leads it by seven. And Bowen's had limited playing time, but in that playing time in 124 minutes, he's only got one turnover. Way out to Shane Laurie. Fuermeyer to the left wing. Devin Mitchell. Richards. Just got run over by Drew Richards. No call. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Tony Young pull up is good. Tony Young silences the crowd. Josh Bone gets called for the foul. 83 feet from the basket. You gotta think if you're Southern Illinois that you can't be doing this. I mean, they've been calling it pretty much all game long now. You gotta be careful about what you do. It's 19 to 12. We'll go to the free throw line. Not a position you want to be in right now if you're Southern when they're already in the bonus with about eight minutes left to go in the half. Fuermeyer is going to the free throw line. So far this year, he's one for one from the free throw line, so he's perfect. He's got one of the bonus. No good. 50% now. to Tony Boyle. Southern can add to the seven-point lead. Falker with it to Tony Young. Pull up, shot, no. Big rebound by Devin Mitchell. He can get up on the rim. To the right wing and Cheney. Mitchell scores. Two fouls. The Salukis lead it 19 to 12. Chris. Thanks, Mike. You know, we talked earlier in the game about Southern's defense. They're ranked fourth in the nation on scoring defense. Doing a great job, of course, right behind them, or excuse me, in front of them, is Butler at number three. Southern showing why their defense is so strong today. We'll see out more on the court today, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see if Southern can hold the seven point lead. Devin Mitchell called for his second foul. He has two. Ballou has two for Missouri State. Salukis with two are Matt Shaw and Tyrone Green with two. And Jamal Tatum with just nine minutes played, five points already. Falker, 10 minutes played, nine points. 
getting some good production out of, out of Falker and Tatum right now. Salukis are shooting 7 out of 15 from the floor so far at 47%. Missouri State 4 out of 16, 25%. If it wasn't for Dale Lambert, this would be a blowout already. Yeah, it would have been like the game last year in the first half for Missouri State where they were blowing SIU at, but in any case, they're still up by 7. So SIU is going to just keep on trying to add to what they're doing right now. I still expect them to keep on trying to go down low to Falker like they have been, but it's been working. Try to get the ball into Randall, have Richards pick up his second foul because they are very thin on the front line as Ballou has two fouls already and a bad left hand. Salukis get it in. Boy, Cheney's tough in the backcourt on defense. Randall with it. Tony Young blocked by Richards. Mullins is coming back into the game now for Josh Bone. Richards now with 22 blocks on the season. Tatum, pull up. No. Randall almost had it, but Richards beat him to it. Southern does a good job of getting back on defense, stopping that fast break transition by Missouri State. Cheney with it now. Back to Fearmeyer. Ahern's going to check in. Next opportunity. 12 on the shot clock. Fearmeyer to Cheney to Shane Laurie. Way up to Fearmeyer. He's going to have to jack one up. And Tony fouls him with one second on the shot clock. Not a very good foul right there. He was rushing his shot, and you don't want to foul somebody when they're going for a three-pointer either. Tony going for that steal. He's known for his defense, but that one made should have just laid off, tried to put a hand in the face. He's already hearing the shot, so the chances of him making it are that less. So Fuhrmeyer's going to shoot three. Just saw the tail end. Couldn't tell if he got him there. Free throw is good. It's a big swing there because that would have been an air ball probably and Southern would have had the ball back leading by six, by seven. Fearmeyer second free throw. Nope. <laughs> Ahern in for Shane Laurie. Spencer Laurie will come in for Fearmeyer if he hits this shot. Shot is up and no good. Rebound to Falker. He was only one for three. So not too bad a foul after all. And it was only Tony's first foul. Young with it. Brian Mullins for three. Yes, Brian Mullins knocks down the tray. And that's one thing Mullins has changed about his game this year. He's shooting the ball a lot more when he's open, and it's really helped out the Saluki offense. Fearmeyer down to Richards, working on Falker. Jump hook, no! Rebound to Randall Falker. That did everything but go down. Southern leads it by nine. We mentioned in the pregame, the Salukis have won seven games in a row. Kick it to Tony Young, three from the corner, no. Real good look, just didn't go. And the Bears, who had lost three in a row, have won five in a row. Fearmeyer. Stolen by Jamal, but he couldn't quite hold it. And Spencer Laurie finally gets to come back in the game for Fuhrmeyer. And the amazing thing when you're just talking about the Missouri Valley Conference in general is they were, had the third highest RPI as a conference as a whole, and they didn't have anybody ranked until this past week with Southern Illinois last week, and now Southern moved up to 15th. A very strong conference, but it doesn't really show it in their rankings. Kyle Roush back into the game for Missouri State. Shot, no, fouled in the corner. Fouls on Tony Young again. And look at Tony's face. It's another one of those where you just got to try and put a hand in their face when they're going up for the shot. Maybe a little bit too aggressive, but you got to be aggressive so you can get turnovers. It's going to be Tyler Cheney at the line. He's a 70% free throw shooter. And there's Tony clipping him, although Tony will deny it. 
So two straight trips down the floor. Tony's fouled a guy out at three-point range. Cheney hits. His first point of the game. It's 22 to 14. Tyler Cheney, a senior out of Neosho, Missouri. Nope, wouldn't go. Wesley Clemens back into the lineup for Tony Young. Free throws are always key to a team winning, and right now Missouri State's not knocking down their chances. Crowd's trying to get into the game, but the Bears trail by eight. Make it seven. See if Southern can get the ball down low. Here comes the zone. Jamal directing the offense right now, trying to get everything set up. Ten on the shot clock. Salukis aren't getting much motion out of their motion offense right now. Forced it, no, shot clock violation. And this crowd's into it now, and Ahern did exactly what he's supposed to, just put your hands up when somebody's rushing up a shot, and Jamal airballed it. Nice defense by the man who a lot of people say can't play defense, Blake Ahern. He did a nice job against Jamal Tatum. Cheney. Missouri State basically passes up the two-point bucket and they pass it around to get the three. And this crowd's definitely into it right now. Win, and not even close on the shot. Foul on Falker, his second. And Bruce Hicks has taken over this game as an official. He's making every call. Now it's just a four-point lead for the Salukis now, and they're looking to try and make that the Bears are at maybe two. So Kyle Rausch is an 82% free throw shooter. He's hit nine out of 11 on the season. Tony Boyle is going to check in for Falker. Two points. That shows you how dangerous this Missouri State team is. There's the zone defense. Saluki's not moving. Six seconds on the shot. Rebound, Tony Boyle. No. Ahern bounces it off for Tony Boyle. And they give him the timeout. To the Salukis. The ref sat there and thought about it for a minute, but he gave the timeout to the dogs. Fans wanted to travel. So a diving stop by Tyrone Green gets the timeout call, and Barry Hinson is just livid with John Higgins, saying he rolled on his back and should have been called for a travel. I think it's a good thing for the Salukis that they got that timeout just because of the fact that things are getting a little rough for them right now. They get to settle down there. Chris Lauder can talk to them and maybe try and settle them down and get things under control again. This zone is killing the dogs right now. They're getting absolutely no motion. They haven't even gotten a shot the last, a good shot the last two trips. And they've shown over the past MVC season that they have trouble with zones from time to time. And the thing that defeats the zone is good shooting from the outside as well. They've been pounding it down inside. They gotta start hitting some shots from outside as well. You gotta penetrate and dish too. You gotta get into the seams of the zone. Blake 
Mike Ahern and Tyrone Green talking to each other going, going, hey, wasn't that travel? <laughs> Missouri State back in the man-to-man -man defense now. Tatum with it. Nobody wants to move right now in the Saluki offense. There's Jamal. Six on the shot clock. Nice move. Stolen by Tatum. Nice play by Jamal. Another turnover by Missouri State. It's extremely loud in here. And we're only in the first half. And Missouri State gets an offensive foul call as well. And I don't know if the Salukas are winning or what, but they're not moving around on offense right now, and they're not being able to find anybody open because of that. They're just standing around watching the guy with the ball, hoping they do something. And we've come to our last media timeout of the first half. 2.50 left to go. It's Southern clinging to a two-point lead. Missouri State shooting 27.8%. Saluki is at 33%. The Bears are three out of six from three-point range. The Salukis are two out of seven from three-point range. Not a lot of difference in this game. Both teams with 16 rebounds. And it's a two-point game with Missouri State's basketball. And another big thing is Ahern, only two points so far, 0 for 3 from the three-point line. That's I think Missouri State minutes. forgot they were supposed to inbound the ball. 2.50 left to go in this first half. It's been entertaining. Hasn't been the best brand of basketball, but it's been entertaining. Laurie down to Lambert. Up, no, rebound to Brian Mullins. And they're, I think they're going to say it went off Mullins. That's what they're saying right now. Calls it for SIU. Jerry uh, Pollard reverses the call. I'm not sure Bruce knew uh, what he called, but he looked a little confused, but he got a little help. See if they pick up man or they go zone. It's back to the zone defense. Around the perimeter it goes. Wesley Clemens. Shot clock down to seven already. Shot by Mullins, good. <laughs> he gets it to go. That's not exactly the best choice of shot, but it worked. Cheney with it. Saluki lead is back to five. Minute 50 to go in the first half. Ahern down to Lamberth. Kick it way out to Cheney, to Richards. No good, no good on the floor. Tony Bile foiled the foul on the floor. That is his second foul. So Drew Richards will go to the free throw line. There's the last part of it. It's the tenth team foul, so he'll be shooting two. He's already two shots. Bruce Hicks finally realizes there's ten fouls. Shot is up. Good. Richards has three points. One for one from the line. Missed it. Rebound to Mullins. So the Salukis lead it by four. Minute and a half left to go in the first half. Now they're back to the man defense. Mullins on the right wing. Shot clock down to 10. Tatum with Cheney on him. 
Boyle. Got to put it up. Nice move. It went. Tony Boyle for two. Just ahead of the shot clock. Nice patience. When you say just ahead, you mean by like just a hair. He I'm, just yes. barely got that ball off. Spencer Laurie. Ahern in the corner. Ten on the shot clock now for the Bears. 25 seconds left in the first half. Lambert. They called a foul on Tyrone Green. Well, I said before that you're supposed to put your hands up and make them force to make a good shot, and that's what Tyrone Green did, but they still called the foul on him, so. Might have clipped him on the hip a little bit. I don't know, and he's shooting three. So Lambert will shoot three. He's already got eight points. He hasn't scored since midway in the first half, though. Way off. The Bears are eight for 13 from the line so far in the ball game. And the Salukis are going to have a lead at halftime. Lambert is a junior out of Oklahoma City, a junior college transfer. Missed that one, too. Eight for 14. Kyle Roush comes back in for Drew Richards. Lambert on the season, 66%, so he should have made two out of three. He makes the third one. Five-point lead for the Salukis. They will get the final shot, barring a turnover. Here comes Brian Mullins working on Spencer Laurie. Shot clock down to five. Tatum blocked. And we've come to the end of the first half. 27 to 22. The Salukis lead the Missouri State Bears. They get out to a 6 0 lead and still lead by five. And with us now is Jack Owens. Go ahead. Coach Owens, the team is leading right now going into the half. Thanks to the big play by Randall Falk. We've got nine points so far today. Yes, it, we were, it was great. We were able to inside, uh, establish the inside position there and just go to another possession. It was great while he was in there. We just have to continue to stay out of foul trouble. What do you want to look going into the second half? We just have to continue doing what we're doing. We let him stay in the game by foul. We have to just play solid D. Thank you, Coach. All right. Thank you. That is Jack Owens. Thank you, Chris. The Salukis got up six to nothing. They still lead by five, and I think Jack hit it on the head. If Southern doesn't foul, they're winning this game by a lot. Yeah, and if they don't win. Listen to the crowd. Six straight points by the Bears. And Chris Lowry has to call timeout. As Southern had a couple of good looks inside, wouldn't go down, and the Bears have not missed here in the second half. The Bears came out good there with the three-pointer from Ahern, and they went down low there, caught Falker off guard. They're doing all the things they need to do to try and get back into this game right now. Southern, on the other hand, is not. Not playing that good defense that people are just know them for as much. So Chris Lowry trying to get things rounded up here right now. Salukis led 27-22 at the half. The Bears now start out the second half like the Salukis did in the first half with a 6-0 run. See how the Salukis come back to do that. There was Richards there on the layup, and Randall couldn't foul him because Randall's got two fouls himself. He couldn't pick up his third as Matt Shaw has three fouls. And the same thing we were talking about Missouri State earlier goes for Southern Illinois. If you attack your big men and your big men get a lot of fouls on them, they become very vulnerable. It's the same way for SIU. So they're going to have to try and play style of defense but not make any stupid fouls. So that's basically what they're going to do. They've been doing that in the past, been fouling people, hand checking, and things like that. You just can't be called for things like that in a tight game like this. On the road this year, the Salukis are 7 and 4. Since the 2001 2002 season, the Salukis are 50 and 29 on the road, 21 games over 500. So that bodes well, but they have struggled mightily in this building. Haven't won here since Matt Painter was the head coach. And then lost the year before that as well when Bruce Weber, in his final year, lost here. So the Bears have won three out of the last four games here in this building. 
And right now they're being outscored, obviously, six to nothing here in the second half. And when other Southern is outscored in the second half, they're only eight and five, still a winning record. But when they outscore their opponents in the second half, they're 14 and 0. So they need to get back on the board here and score more points than their opponent. And what this odd show is that they'll win. So the Sookies will have possession. The Bears still in the man defense. There's Tatum with it. To Shaw. Eight on the shot clock. Tony Young, no. Southern just doesn't look like they're getting very many good shots right now. They're taking the ball down to the final seconds of the shot clock, each possession down on the court on offense. Ballou turns it over. And the Salukis will get it back. They're trying to get it down to Randall, but Richards is doing a nice job fronting him and not giving any entry pass opportunities. Much better job now than he was doing at the beginning of the game. There's down to Randall. Foul by Richards. That'll be two fouls on Drew Richards. And Rand will go to the free throw line to try to put the Salukis back on top. Here's the replay. Richards didn't like it. So Randall goes to the line. I don't know what they're talking about. Unless Barry thought the foul was on the floor. There's all three officials, John Higgins, Jerry Pollard, and Bruce Hicks talking about it. It's a two-shot foul. Randall hits. Randall now with 10. Tied again at 28. Made them both. Saluki's up by one. Blue with it up high. Shaw almost tipped it in. Comes to Tatum. Matt, oh, Jamal Tatum with a phenomenal up and under move. It looks like a referee's on the floor right now. Bruce Hicks, the referee, went flying when Tatum did his reverse layup. And Jerry Pollard called official timeout. Look at this by Jamal. Just, just absolutely amazing and acrobatic right there. We said he was a gamer earlier. Hurt laying his body out all on the line for his team right there. Jamal was seven. If he gets his next two points, he will get his 1500th career point as a Saluki. There's Ballou, the handoff to Ahern. Lob it over to Cheney. Ahern, no. Foul on the floor. Matt Shaw's got four. Shaw's done for a while. That's not good for the Salukis, and Tony Boyle's going to be coming in for Matt Shaw. Or actually, Chris Lowry is putting him down now, and they're going to put Jamal Foster in for Matt Shaw. Jamal Tatum tried to sell the offense and foul down low, but they weren't buying it and called it on Shaw. Matt goes down with three points and four fouls. And Drew Richards just shoved Randall Falker to the ground and knocked down Tyler Cheney as well. Tony Young knocks the ball out of bounds. This game's getting a little physical, folks. I mean, four players went down in the lane. Salukis lead it by three, led by five at the half. Lori working on Tatum. Ballou with it. Up and in. 
like that hand was bothering him too much there. The hand that's hurt isn't the shooting hand, but it does look to be bothering him right now. Mullins to Foster. Tony Young with it. Brian, pull up jumper too strong. Here comes transition. Cheney can't handle it. Out of bounds, and we come to our first media timeout of the second half. 15.44 to go. Saluki's 31, the Bears 30. We'll be back. Let's throw it over to our sideline guy, Chris Hagstrom. Chris? Right now, Southern has a one-point lead. Should Southern remain and stay ahead in the Valley and be in first place, the Saluki women are also in first place right now. The last time both those teams have won the Missouri Valley Conferences or Gateway Conferences at the same time was back in 1990. So a first, another one could be happening momentarily. But right now, we've got more action to play today. Yes, Illinois State lost last night at Wichita State in women's play. So the Saluki women are alone in first place with a one-game lead. Not bad. Who would have thunk it after the past two or three years, but Dana Eichenberg's really come in and turned that program around, doing a great job for the women's basketball team. And they'll be back at the arena Friday night, February 23rd. It's the Cancer Awareness Night, a pink out. Everyone is invited to wear pink to the ball game. $2 tickets, $2 for anyone to go to that game. Friday night, February 23rd against the University of Evansville. Game time is 7.30. Back to the zone defense for the Missouri State Bears. Randall, kick it back to Mullins. He's got to get a better entry pass than that. Mullins does back from Falker anyway. Tatum to Tony Young, pull up, jumper, no. Blue has the rebound. Tony has just not been feeling it all game long, but Tatum gets the steal right there. Jamal right there to take it away. Tony to Randall. Nice to Jamal. No. No foul called at all. Ahern wants he's wide open over here on the wing. Ballou has it blocked, and Falker comes up with the ball. Nice D right there by Falker. Just stood there, put his hand up, and got the block. He's the block shot king of the Missouri Valley Conference right now. Averages over two a game. Randall Falker, Richards, good for Randall. He's got 13. Saluki's lead it by three, 33 to 30. There have been two lead changes in the ball game, is all. Southern has virtually led the whole game. To the wing and Laurie. Down to Ballou. Foul on Foster. That's two on Jamal Foster. Lambert and Devin Mitchell checking in there on your screen. For Ballou and Tyler Cheney. Also Kyle Roush coming back into the game. For Richards and Wesley Clemens is going to come back in there. He saw a shot of the wrap on Nathan Ballou's left hand. He has been limited by that, no question. Roush with it, way out high. Lori working on Tatum. Ahern. Lori into the lane, runners. Spencer Lori, his first two points. Down to Randall. Wesley swings it to Jamal. Ten on the shot clock. Wesley. What'd they call? Oh, they called a foul. Foul on Lambert. His first. Bales the Salukis out because the shot clock was down to about four. 
Yeah, Southern wasn't doing a good job of finding an open shot there, and they got the hand check called. Full shot clock back now, too, 35 seconds. Tony Young will get rid of it. Does out to Jamal Tatum. New shot clock and now his own. This is something Southern's had problems with before. Lob for Randall, too high. Here comes Ahern. To Lori. Steven Mitchell, no. Roush. Five. I think they're going to call it on Foster. Foul on Tony Young. Here's the replay. There's Tony there. Oh, yeah, hammered his arm. So Tony's got three. And Roush will go to the free throw line and shoot a pair. Missed. 10 for 19 now. Cheney and Shane Lurie into the game. For Ahern and Spencer Lurie. Roush will try to tie this ball game up. He does. You could realistically say now that if Missouri State would be shooting better free throws, they should be winning this game. I mean, they've only made about 50%, a little bit over 50% on the night. Back in the zone, we're tied again. It's the second time the game's been tied. Mullins. Six on the shot clock. Mullins for three. No. Jamal Foster high to get the rebound. Knocked away by Shane Lurie. We caught when you're a big man down low. You got to keep the ball up high so they don't strip it. Out of bounds. Turnover. Stepped out of bounds. And we've come to another media timeout. We are tied. It's 33 all. We'll be back after this. We have a score from Omaha, Nebraska with 9.06 left to go in the first half, Northern Iowa with an early three-point lead over Creighton, 13 to 10. Good news for the dogs. They still have a chance of winning the conference outright tonight, but the game's tied right now. They've let the Bears back into the game with lots of fouls. But the Bears, fortunately enough for the Salukis, aren't shooting that well at the free throw line tonight. Bears are 11 out of 20 at the line. Salukis are six for eight if they could ever get there. They've been outscored in this half, 11 to 12 to six. And Randall Falker getting close to another double-double. He's got 13 points on the night, seven rebounds. He's got five double-doubles on the year. Here comes some pressure. Broke that pretty easily. And they fall back into that 2-3 zone. Turnover by Tyrone Green. Not a very good pass right there. It's from two guys. You can't make that pass. you got to find a better way to get the ball to the big man. Here comes Laurie. Charge. And they're going to talk about Charge. it now. Charge on Laurie. No nothing. and he said, I, I let the ball go first. He's trying to plead his case. <laughs> they don't call that anymore. <laughs> Stolen from Tyrone again. Fortunately, David Mitchell couldn't handle the ball. And the thing I'm not seeing right now, they're playing the zone. You need to penetrate in the zone and kick it back out to get an open shot. Right now, Brian Mullins is just standing at the top of the key, just dribbling. That's not going to do anything for you. Salukis with 10 turnovers. Missouri State with 13. Tatum with it. Kicked by Laurie. Shot clock will go back up to 15. Oh, 
So they're at least right now trying to just move the ball around, trying to find Coach something. Coach Lowry open. trying to call some plays. Mullins penetrates, hands off to Falker who scores. Well, wasn't pretty, but it went in. <laughs> pretty much. Randall's got 15. And if they could find the way to get him the ball, he's unstoppable inside tonight. Lamberth with it. Tony Young's going to check back in next opportunity. Bounce it down to Richards. Charge into Falker. Foul on Richards. That's three offensive fouls on the night for the Dogs. You usually don't even see one anymore. Three. That's good defense by the Salukas today. They're playing really hard. Randall's taking two of those charges. There it is again, Randall. Good position. Richards dropped the shoulder down. And Jamal looks like he's going to the bench right now. Tony Boyles coming in for Jamal Foster. Make sure the Salukis have five guys on the floor. And they do. And they lead it by a pair, 35 to 33. Inside to Tyrone Green, and he couldn't handle it. Here comes Ahern. <laughs> Lambert kicks it to Cheney for three. Short rebound to Falker. Randall's got eight boards. Well, we see the Saluki is now trying to drive into the zone, trying to get something going here. Let's see if they can handle the ball a little bit better now. Tony Young down to Tony Boyle. Back to Tony Young. Kick it to Mullins, to Randall, to Boyle, Tony Young, no. Rebound, who? Foul over the back on who? Tyrone Green. That makes Young one for seven on the night, not having a very good shooting night at all. This is a really ugly, ugly game. Chris Lowry. Motioning now, Joshua Bone is in. He's got to guard Lambert. I don't like that matchup at all. Ahern with it. To Devin Mitchell. Cheney, fouled by Tony Young. Jerry Pollard calls the foul. And those are those fouls that we were talking about. They're needless fouls that you don't need to reach in there. You're behind them shouldn't even do anything. You just let him take the shot. And you can see right now the shot disgust the in the coach's face. Cheney will shoot two. It's two for three at the line thus far in the ball game. Six points. Tatum back in. Tony Young sits down. So the Salukis have two guys with four fouls, Shaw and Tony Young. And Cheney will try to tie this game up again. Here we go. Crowd is on its feet. Joshua Bone to Jamal. Twelve on the shot clock. Pop up three by Tatum. No good. Foul on Randall. Oh no, foul on Bone. That's a good thing for the Salukis that they called it on Bone. That would have been Randall's third. Coming through the lane. Drove right by him. Two fouls on Joshua Bone now. Every Saluki who has played except for Mullins has two fouls. Tatum has yet to foul. So Cheney can give the Bears another lead. And he doesn't. Rebound to Tony Boyle. 
Back in the zone. Bone, 4-3. Short. Saluki basketball. Josh wanted to shoot it earlier and then thought about it and then triggered and you got to shoot in rhythm. Still tied at 35. New shot clock. Stolen by Cheney out of bounds to the Salukis. Drew Richards is going to check back into the game. Back into the bed, number 42, Drew Richards. For Nathan Ballou. Richardson, Nathan Ballou. with 19 fouls right now. Missouri State with eight. New shot clock again, tied at 35. Bone can hit those threes. He made a ton of them in practice the last two days. the shot clock. Mullins blocked. Just not a good set all together. Not a good shot that Mullins wanted to take going up against the big man. Then they come back down. Nobody even guards him and he gets the lay in. Tatum with it on the wing. Look, he's doing nothing on offense right now. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Randall, no. Foul on Richards. And I think the salute has got a little bit of a break right there. That's good for Southern. We Down by a, two. We've got immediate timeout, 7-17. Left to go on the half. It's Missouri State in the lead, 37-35. Randall Falker will be at the free throw line shooting a pair. Another from Omaha. It's Northern Iowa 18, Creighton 14. 6.22 left to go in the first half. Randall thus far is three for four at the line. Missed it. Matt Shaw is back in playing with four fouls. Ballou is back in. Randall hit the second. He's got 16. Southern really just needs a defensive stop right here. Cheney with it. Tipped away, controlled by Matt Shaw. And there's the stop you wanted. Another turnover by the Bears. That is number 13 for Missouri State. And they saddle back in that zone. To Randall, shot no. Lori can't control out of bounds and Southern will keep it with 16 on the shot clock. Randall's gotta be a little more patient once he gets it. And uh, not much shot clock for the Salukis. It's been something they've been getting used to here in the second half. They've really been letting the clock wind down a lot so far here in the second half. Jamal, wide open, shot too strong. He traveled. He called the timeout. They're going to give him the timeout after he traveled. <laughs> so a 30 second timeout given by the official Bruce Hicks. So Missouri State will keep possession with 26 on the shot clock, leading by one point. 15th ranked Salukis trying to figure out a way to get things done here. I mean, they're going up against Butler this weekend, but they're not worried about that right now. They just have to figure out a way to get rid of this pesky Missouri State team that's just been hanging around all game long. So Lukies will be at Butler Saturday afternoon, 3.05 to tip off. Then they'll be at Indiana State a week from tomorrow night before coming back home to take on the Evansville Aces Saturday, February 24th in a 7.35 tip off at the arena. Senior night, Jamal and Tony, their last appearance at the arena.
Cheney's going to handle the basketball out top. Ahern with it on Mullins. Cheney, jump ball, Saluki basketball. Another turnover by the Bears. And the Salukis will try to tie or go in the lead. Great effort by Randall. Clemens with it to Shaw. Jamal gets inside to Wesley. Good, no, charge. Wesley's got to stop 10 feet from the basket and hit a pull-up jumper. That was a charge, but this is about the, the most charges I think I've ever seen in a basketball game. Good defense, great position. Great position. So it's a one-point game. Missouri State leads it. Under six minutes to play now. It's getting down to nitty-gritty time. It's time for the Saluki seniors to step up, and one of them can't because he's on the bench with all kinds of foul trouble. Here's Ballou. Turnover. Here comes Jamal Tatum. No foul call on that. They said it was a clean block by Ballou right there. Tatum can't believe it. Chris Lowry says, let's just call a play and get the lead. Still a one-point game. Pretty good block. Wesley with it. Saluki's 15th in the nation. Last time they were ranked this high was when Northern Iowa beat them. Final game of the year. Way short. Falker has it. Back to Shaw. To Randall, 10 on the shot clock. Five on the shot clock. Shot by Tatum, good. Jamal just scored his 1,500th point, and he gave the Salukis a 38-37 lead. And it couldn't have come at a better time. You're talking about a senior stepping up. There he is right there, Jamal Tatum. Blue called the block on Shaw, and Matt's out of the game. He knew whatever he had to do, he had to be careful. And unfortunately, he's going out of the game now. And it looks like Tony Young is coming back into the game now for the Salukis. He's at the scorer's table ready to get checked in. And Tyrone Green looks like he's going to come in now, too. Matt Shaw, three points in the game. Three rebounds in the game. You saw how dynamic the Saluki offense could be when he's on. When they played Creighton, he had 25 points. They looked like a totally different team with the great offense that they had. They haven't had that from him tonight, and it showed. So Matt's out at the 445 mark. Ballou will try to tie the game. He does. His third point in the ball game. Richards is going to check in because now they can go big. Also for the Bears, number 42, Drew Richards. He's in for Devin Mitchell. So now Tyrone Green's got to guard Nate Ballou. Lamberth is going to check in, I think, for Ballou. Shot. Good. Lamberth comes in for Ballou. One point game, 4.45 to go. Everybody's on their feet right now. Here comes that zone defense. Jamal to Tony to Randall. Good. Nice passing right there. They moved the ball around everywhere. And then Randall, nice, nice little reverse layup right there. Just how you draw it up on the board against the zone. Dogs back up by one, 40 to 39. Cheney. Nothing Tony can do about that one. Four fouls. He had to let him score right there to stay in the game. Forty-one forty. First team to forty-five might win this game. Here 
trying to isolate Randall. Can't do it. Tatum. Up. No. Three. Four seconds on the shot clock. Jamal knew it. Shot clock violation. We've got immediate timeout. There's 3.34 left. It's Missouri State 41, Southern 40. We'll be back. Let's go over to Chris Hackstrom. Chris. You know, we talk about the Bears being a pesky team. Southern has not won here at the Hammonds since 2004. It was Valentine's Day. It was a win 59 to 58. Southern has won here in the last two years. Let's see if Southern can try to come out on top of the victory here tonight. The Bears are shooting almost 55% here in the second half. The Salukis only 23%. Five for 22. They have 11 more shots than Missouri State here in the second half. Totally different from the Creighton game where they were shooting a blistering 85% from the field in the second half. Combine that with the amount of fouls that they have today, and it's not very good. Northern Iowa leads Creighton at halftime, 33 to 28, but it doesn't matter if Southern can't get one more point than the Bears here in this basketball game. Three and a half to go. Both teams are in the bonus. The Bears are on the double bonus. This is where Ahern is very popular. Cheney, pull up. Isolation against Tony Young. Man to man. Lou's doing a good job on Falker right now, fronting him, not getting him open. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Foul on Cheney. Tatum will go to the free throw line and shoot free throws. Oh, I'm sorry, only the sixth team foul. Southern gets it out of bounds. Misread the scoreboard. There's a little bump, and I do mean a little bump. But they do get a new shot clock on that flat foul. Richards comes in for Lambert. Richards has been very good in this game defensively. But he's got four fouls. There's Randall. Tatum. Tony Young, no. Foul. On. Tyrone, Tyrone Green. Green. He was the one close to the ball trying to get it. Yes, three point deficit, 2.29 to go. And Richards just took a seat on the bench again. Offense for defense. Charge on Cheney. No question about that. No question about that. Tyler just was like a freight train out of on a mission. A great job of just getting the feet set right there and taking the blow. Tyrone what Green. What a nice job. Keeping the Salukis in this game right now, down by three, still a one possession game. Southern just has to get something going here. Got to get it into Randall. He's working hard to get open. I can't believe they're not going back in the zone though. I really can't. Tony Young with it. There's Randall. And good. Randall's got 20. Now Southern needs to stop. Walker's also got 10 rebounds, so he's at the sixth double double of the season now for him. Here comes Spencer Laurie to Ahern. Tony's got four fouls. Lob it down to Ballou. Ballou, no rebound to Randall. Throw it away off of Cheney, and Southern keeps it. Southern got a break on that one because there's a little miscommunication. They didn't, Tony Young didn't know the ball was going to him. Cheney, and Cheney didn't say a word. Cheney knew it. Cheney knew it. He never said a word. There's the knock. Yep. What a break for the Salukis right there. Let's see if they can take advantage of it right now. Minute and a half to go. There's the zone. Oh. 
Southern needs a good shot. Nine on the shot clock. Tatum for three. Yeah! Jamal Tatum buries a three. And would you want anybody else other than Tatum taking that shot right now? He's been huge for the Salukis the past couple of games. And they're going to call a timeout here. Jamal Tatum from NBA type range nails the three, and Southern leads it by two with 101 to go in the game. He now has 15 points in the basketball game. No, excuse me. He's got 12 points. One more will move him past a former Saluki in the all-time list of points scored. Just an amazing clutch shot right there. We were talking about the seniors stepping up, making plays, and that's exactly what Jamal Tatum's done. There's some other seniors that haven't been playing as well this game, but he just put it on his shoulders and said, all right, I got you guys right now. Sterling Mahan is the guy Jamal Tatum will catch if he can score one more point. Sterling is a Hall of Famer, so he's got 1,500 points plus. And there you see it tickling the twine to give the dogs a two-point lead. You got to look at Ahern here. They got to go to Blake Ahern, and Blake's saying, I need a foul. <laughs> Mullins is going to guard Ahern. Yeah, I'd say you probably wouldn't want Tony Young guarding Ahern. No. Tony's going to guard Cheney. Here comes Cheney. Oh, Ahern's alone. He missed it badly. Rebound to Randall Falker. And the Salukis lead it by two. No foul called. We're just not used to seeing Blake Ahern miss that many threes in the game. He has just been off all night long. Missouri State, there's an 11-second differential on the clock. A two would be beautiful for Southern. Tatum got hammered by Cheney. So Tatum will go to the free throw line, shoot one in the bonus to try to put the dogs up by four. Cheney knocked him down in the lane. Jerry Pollard makes the call, and Jamal Tatum will go to the free throw line. Tatum making all kinds of milestones today. He has two three-pointers on the night, giving him over 200 for his career as well. Salute great Troy Hudson ahead of him at third. Huge free throw right here for Jamal. Up and in. And there's his 13th point. And Barry Hinson wants a timeout. He wants a full timeout to try to ace the Saluki senior as Southern is pulled ahead 46 to 43. An unbelievable gutty effort. And about three and a half minutes ago, I think I said the first team to 45 might win this game. Southern was first to 45. Yes, it's been a very good game. And we've talked also about just how it's just like Southern's come in there the past couple of years and just hasn't found a way to beat the Missouri State Bears. And I mean, they've been playing very well on the offensive side sometimes, but I mean, the defensive side, they've just been fouling way too much, and that's why the Bears are still in this game, but. They've held them to 43 points, though, which is phenomenal. And Jamal Tatum has now surpassed Sterling Mahan with 1,504 career points with his 13 tonight. His 14th point will give the Salukis a two possession lead with 21 ticks on the clock. Southern 15th in the country when the polls came out yesterday. The last time they had that high of a ranking, they went on the road to Northern Iowa. They were 17-0 in Missouri Valley Conference play and lost the final game of the year and never got close to 15th again. A win tonight. They traveled to Butler for the game on Saturday. The Bulldogs are anywhere from 12th to 13th, depending on which poll you're looking at. And that all of a sudden, that's not a bracket buster game. That's a big time college basketball game with two top 15 programs going at it. Yeah, interestingly enough, uh, Butler, even though they're ranked ahead of SIU in the standings and the coaches poll and everything, Southern actually is ahead of them in the mid-major poll. They're number one, Butler's number two with Winthrop number three. That's who Missouri State will play in the bracket buster. Just a big time game all around there. If the Salukis could find a way to pull this one out and then maybe beat Butler, you could maybe see them jump up to 10th maybe in the country. So Tatum trying to make it a two possession ball game. The senior from Jefferson City, Missouri nails it. 
and it's a four-point game. Here comes Chaney. He scores. Timeout, Barry Henson. Saluki's let him go. Smart thing to do. So now it's going to be can Southern make its free throws because if Missouri State doesn't get the steal on the inbound, they're going to have to foul immediately. If we've seen in the past when Southern has made those free throws down the stretch, they've won those games, and obviously the ones that they haven't, they haven't won. But recently they've been shooting the ball pretty well from the free throw line, and they've been doing it pretty well as of late too. Tatum seeing there coming through, showing his senior leadership, making those two big free throws and making the three right there to silence the crowd here. And a lot quieter the past minute of the game. Salukis are 9 out of 12 from the free throw line. The Bears are 15 out of 25. So it's definitely the difference in the ball game thus far. That was just a 30-second timeout, so both teams got to get out of the huddle. Salukis can run the baseline because Cheney did make the layup. The Bears have Ballou, Spencer Laurie, Ahern, Cheney, and Devin Mitchell. You don't get much faster than that with that fivesome on the floor. The Dogs have Tony Young, Mullins, Tatum, Joshua Bone, and Wesley Clemens, five guards into the game for the Salukis. Well, you can see their strategy, getting guards in there to get the ball so they can shoot good free throws. Everyone Wesley gets shoots. in, he's hammered by Ballou, and that hurt Ballou's hand tremendously. So Wesley's going to have to come down and make free throws. Third foul on Ballou. And Wesley's going to have to make a big free throw. It looks like Jordan Armstrong's there at the scores table, too. Is that Jordan Armstrong? That's Tyrone Green for defense. Lambert comes in for Mitchell in case they need a three-pointer. 14.7 on the clock. Wesley Clemens is a 64% free throw shooter. Out of the five that were on the floor, that's the one Missouri State wanted at the free throw line. Wesley hit it. First point of the game for Wesley Clemens. And if he makes this, he can make it again a two possession game. Got them both, Wesley did. Should be 49 to 45. Okay, they just, they just fixed the scoreboard on the clock. 14 seconds left. Here comes Cheney. He's going to the hole. Couldn't get it. Seven seconds left. Lambert hits a two. Tatum has it. Fouled with 4.5 left. As Lambert now has 11 points in the ball game. Tatum will go to the free throw line and have a chance again. One in the bonus. You would think if he makes these two here, he can seal the game. Cheney's fourth foul, and if Jamal can make two, he's going to get two shots. He can clinch the basketball game, and oh, what a sweet win this would be for the Salukis. Got it. It's now at least no worse than a tie for the Salukis. Jamal with 15 points, 10 here in the second half. Shot. Good ball game. Lambert pulls up. Doesn't matter. Misses. Ball game. Salukis win it. 51 to 47. And they really gutted this one out, Matt. Really gutted this victory out. Gutsy effort by the Salukis here tonight. They've had a lot of fouls, but they battled through everything that was going against them. Found a way to pull out the win. Great senior leadership tonight by Jamal Tatum, hitting the big three when they needed it, making the big free throws when they needed it. And as you can see, the outcome was a good one for the Salukis because of that 51-47. 51-47, the final. Let's hear from Jack Owens. Coach, you have got to be pleased. The last two minutes of play for your team was amazing. Wow, man, our guys really fought, it, fought on the road. This, this is a big win for us. Hopefully we can just continue to build on it. Right now, we're looking at unofficially Randall Falker, 20 points on the ball game. Jamal Tatum had 15. Those big three throws were key to the end of this game. Yes, Jamal Tatum was great at the line. Wesley Clement hits two big free throws, and Randall was great all day. 
It's time to head to Bracket Buster, taking on Butler, Coach. Right, one at a time, and we, we, we will be ready. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. Congratulations. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Chris. What a gutty effort by the Salukis. They were down three, came back, took the one-point lead, and then just made play after play down the stretch. Jamal Tatum, huge. Randall Falker, huge. Tatum ends up with 16 points, and Randall Falker ends up with 20 points. With Matt Shaw fouled out, Tony Young in foul trouble, this team, just somebody else steps up night after night after night. And if I would have told you that Blake Ahern was only going to have seven points on the night, you would have taken that for sure and thought for sure the Salukis probably would have won the game. It was a lot closer than you would have thought of been with Ahern only having seven, but a win's a win. No doubt about it. So the Salukis led in scoring with Jamal Tatum at 16 and Randall Falker had 20. Did Falker get the double-double? I don't think so. I haven't seen it. He did get him. the double-double. Yes, he did. He did get a double-double, had at least 10 rebounds. So Falker with a second double-double against Missouri State leads the Salukis to the victory tonight. The final score is 51 to 47. Southern is now 22 and 5 on the season, 13 and 3 in the Missouri Valley Conference. Missouri State falls to 19 and 8 overall, 10 and 6 in league play. Again, the halftime score from Omaha, Northern Iowa led Creighton 33 to 28. If Creighton loses that ball game, the Salukis clinch at least a tie for the Missouri Valley Conference Championship. I want to thank our crew tonight for their great camera work. I want to thank everybody for watching. For Chris Hagstrom and Matt Bierman, I'm Mike Trude. Repeating the final score again, Southern Illinois 51, Missouri State 47. So long from Springfield.